disappeared in uh, Downing Centre local court this morning on a mid-range drink driving offence. Blood alcohol reading was 0.116, so the reading was certainly well into the middle range category. Um, client uh, was extremely emotional over this entire matter. Um, it really, she was beside herself. Uh, it was a sort of case where uh, solicitors will often say to the court that this was out of character for the client, but I really could say this in the most strongest possible terms because this was most very much out of character for my client. She has never put a foot wrong in her entire life. On the night of the offence, she um, had gone along to a hen's party where she had consumed four champagnes in a five hour period, had not consumed any food throughout the entire day. Um, uh, left the party early. She rarely ever goes out, rarely socialises. She describes herself as a complete homebody. Um, so it was rare that she actually went out on this occasion, but she did feel obligated to go to a friend's hen's party, had those four drinks, drove home, rush cutters bay. There was a random breath test, which has been happening there for years. Um, pulled her over and uh, 0.116, and she was beside herself. Nothing aggravated, so lock up into the vehicle. Um, late at night um, and uh, limited traffic on the road uh, cooperate with the police early plea of guilty she worked as a uh, reporter for uh, Sky News Australia um, and um, uh, well, she worked as a reporter for a reputable um, news network I uh, won't say which one but um, yeah she uh, found that they were very um, unsupportive of the situation that um, she was in with the uh, drink driving offence. They uh, threatened to terminate her over the matter, um, especially if she got a conviction and that they wanted to know the ins and outs of how she uh, was going to handle the case. I think there was a lot of self-preservation from their own interests there, which you got to understand, but um, um, there was uh, absolutely no support in relation to their employee whatsoever. So that was very upsetting for her. She actually found herself in a situation where she felt she had no other um, option but to resign from the job. It left her unemployed. She's uh, in financial distress. Uh, most um, important and relevant and um, uh, pressing to our submissions was the fact that she's been driving for 14 years and never had as much as a parking ticket or a speeding ticket. Um, so she has uh, lived a flawless life, never had any interactions with the authorities. And this just really allowed us to submit in the strongest possible terms that this was out of character for her. A very unlikely, isolated incident. It's not gonna ever be repeated again. She did the traffic offenders program. She got some good character references. Very strong letter of apology. Uh, outlining the extracurial punishment that she has had to go through in uh, losing her job and the unsupportive uh, environment that she had to go through. Um, the prosecution was very much seeking a conviction be recorded uh, and the magistrate admitted it was a line ball matter um, because the reading at point 116 was really getting up uh, well into the middle range category and, um, and and general deterrence means that a message needs to be sent to the community that you can't just go out there drink drive with a higher reading and start um, coming to court getting uh, uh, getting off these charges but we did submit that um, uh, there was enough there for the magistrate to use his discretion to not record a conviction on this occasion as he said it was line ball but he just did fall on the side of agreeing with us. He gave our client a conditional release order for two years. That means there's no conviction, no criminal conviction recorded, uh, no fine involved. Um, she can get back on the uh, road straight away, no further disqualification, and she doesn't have to do the alcohol interlock program. So, as he said, this is a, a one-time opportunity for her because she has proven herself in the past to um, be of excellent character and a, a, a good law-abiding citizen, but uh, it is one time only uh, level of leniency. Um, but I think given her track record, it's extremely unlikely we'll ever see her back before the criminal justice system again.
Thanks for tuning in here in the heart of the Sydney CBD at the Downing Centre. I want to thank you for tuning into Borman Lawyers today. You can catch us at any of the usual social media platforms. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel. And if you've got any questions or queries, please don't hesitate to contact us on 1300 941 900. Hey guys, thanks for tuning into this video today. I really hope it was informative and helpful for you. There's another couple of videos below that you might want to check out that may be very useful for the process that you might be going through at the moment. Please feel free to like, follow, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel because we've always got fresh new content coming through all the time.